Hello, welcome to our 1950s trivia challenge. There's 21 questions all about the decade that they called the baby boom. At the end of each question, you'll have five seconds to guess the answer. So good luck, here we go for question one. Who was the British Prime Minister in January 1950? Was it Clement Attlee, Anthony Eden, Winston Churchill or Harold Macmillan? The Prime Minister was Clement Attlee. On to question number two. Born in 1950, Stephen Hardaway Judkins became known as which singing legend? Was it Lionel Richie, Stevie Wonder, Sonny Bono or Ray Charles? It was the legend Little Stevie Wonder. Question number three. The Rose Tattoo premieres on February the 3rd, 1951 in New York. Who wrote it? Was it Arthur Miller, Neil Simon, George Bernard Shaw or Tennessee Williams? It was written by Tennessee Williams. Question 4. Sugar Ray Robinson defeats which boxer to take the middleweight title in 1951? Was it Randy Turpin, Ray LaMotta, Paul Pender or Joey Maxim? It was the incredible Ray LaMotta. Okie dokie, question 5. Who became the first English winner of the British Grand Prix in 1955? Was it Mike Hawthorne, Sterling Moss, Peter Collins or Jim Clark? It was Mr Motorsport Sterling Moss. Question number 6. Which still running cartoon strip premieres in the Daily Mirror in 1957? Was it The Flaps, Just Jake, Andy Cap or Garth? It was the brilliant Andy Cap. Okay, on to question 7. Which fast food chain opened in Salt Lake City, Utah in 1952? Was it Wimpy, McDonald's? Burger King or was it KFC? It was Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okie dokie, question 8. Who sang Mr. Sandman in 1954? Was it the Cordettes, the Beverly Sisters, the Shirelles or the Chiffons? The brilliant song was made by the Cordettes. Righty, on to question 9. Who was the first person to scale Mount Everest in 1953? Was it Henry Cara, George Lowe, Warren Harding or Edmund Hillary? The answer is Edmund Hillary. OK, on to question 10. What generation does someone born in the 1950s belong to? Is it Generation X, Silent Generation, Baby Boomers or The Greatest Generation? It's the Baby Boomers. Let's move on to question number 11. Which city endured the Great Smog of 1952? Was it Paris, London, Berlin or was it Warsaw? It was the City of London. OK, moving on to question 12. The first successful transplant of which organ took place in 1954? Was it the kidney, a liver, a heart or the lung? It was the kidney. Righty, here we go for question 13. Which band did John Lennon found in 1957, later becoming the Beatles? Was it the Vipers, the Chase, the Quarrymen or the Clovers? John Lennon founded the Quarrymen. OK, question 14. Which film starring Alex Guinness and William Holden won eight awards at the 1958 Oscars? Was it Bridge on the River Kwai, Lady Killers, Last Holiday or Lavender Hill Mob? 
It was the amazing Bridge on the River Kwai. Question 15. Who succeeded Stalin as leader of the Soviet Union? Was it Gregory Melenkov, Nikita Khrushchev, Mikhail Tarasov or Vladimir Yasnov? It was Gregory Melenkov. Righty, let's move on to question 16. Which country became independent from Britain and Egypt in 1956? Was it India, Chad, Sudan or Yemen? It was the country of Sudan. Okie dokie, on to question 17. In which year did the late Queen Elizabeth II ascend to the throne? Was it 1950, 52, 54 or 1956? It was 1952. Righty, let's move on to question 18. In 1953, a French designer raised hemlines from about 13 inch to 17 inches above the floor. Can you name them? Was it Chanel, Versace, Dior or Diorsi? The answer is Dior. On to question 19. Who had a 1959 hit with the song Dream Lover? Was it Paul Anka, Bobby Darin, Chuck Berry or Ricky Valance? It was the wonderful Bobby Darin. Okay, two to go. Question 20. Which actor portrayed Rocky Graziano in the 1956 movie Someone Up There Likes Me? Was it Burt Lancaster, James Stewart, Frank Sinatra or Paul Newman? It was the amazing Paul Newman. Right, the last question, number 21. In the 1950s TV show, The Roy Rogers Show, what was Roy's German Shepherd called? Was it Rebel, Rex, Bullet or Bandit? The German Shepherd was called Bullet. Well, I hope you did well and I hope you enjoyed our 1950s quiz. Make sure you come back soon and you take care. Bye.